wobbly windows 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 wow it's so magical hello everyone my name is eg stein and i am a intern here at sfcl clevo and in this video i am going to be showing off my arch linux desktop so without further ado let's get going Alrighty, we are now in my Arch system. Now, first of all, I'm going to be showing off some specs and some memory usage Arch is using right now. So, we're going to check this by running NeoFetch, which is exactly like ScreenFetch, but it works a lot better. Now, of course I am using Arch. The host, which is the computer, is my... HP laptop. The uptime is uh, two minutes because, you know, I just boot into this thing. Uh, the shell is a uh, bash 4.4.12, as usual. And uh, I'm using Mate and Compiz as my window manager. And the theme I'm using is uh, Arc Dark. And I also done some tweaking with the terminal. It's uh, semi transparent because I like that transparency. I don't know why I did, didn't did do this to the dock though. And uh, already. Enough with that. And uh, let's get on to it. Now, uh, now if you use uh, the Solus Mate distribution, you might recognize this because it is the Brisk menu launcher. It is available on the Arch user repository for anyone to download. It's still in beta, but it's still pretty buggy, but but it's stable enough to be used for every day. And uh and let's open uh, some Firefox stuff. All right, and uh, so this is why I themed Firefox to be. I set it to compact dark to match with this theme. And, uh, hold on, I don't know why. Yeah, so, pretty much like that. So, and now we, I'm going to show off what the notifications look like on what I've set it up to be. So, we're going to go on benish.net. We're going to authorize Firefox to show notifications. It showed within five seconds. So I'll be playing a game, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, oh, I get a thing from Discord. All I have to do is just click here, and the page goes back up. And there's a bug with this that if I click on that notification, it just goes full, Firefox goes full screen for some reason. But it could be fixed by just clicking here. And, uh, yeah. Now, I'm also going to be showing off uh, what Compiz can do. So, so first of all, I wanted to get this Alt-Tab thing out of the way. It looks kind of unique. And, and I like this effect. And, uh, and you know what? Just for fun, I'm going to show you guys some the wobbly windows. Wobbly windows, 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 wobbly windows. Whoop, 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 wobble, 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 whoop, whoop. Okay, and uh, and I'm also gonna become a wizard. Wow, it's so magical. Not really, but <laughs> all right. I'm gonna turn that off for now. So I can pretty much configure Compiz with this thing, and it pretty much works like a charm. 
And I've also set Compiz to uh, behave just like Windows Aero Snap. So, so if I put it right here, it goes right, it snaps it to the half. If I put it right here, it snaps to over there, down here, up there, up there, down here, and even uh, maximize it. So yeah, so that's just a little demo of how I set my comp is. And uh, I'm also going to show off my text editor that Monte came with. And I'm just going to do some typing. Hello, this is... Oh, hello, this is a random text document from E.G. Stein of the internship program on the SFC Al Clevo program. Oh, wait. Group. All right. <laughs> so that was Pluma. And, uh,. I'm just going to close while that's saving. And I'm going to show you guys uh, my file managers I have. This one is a GNOME, GNOME 3.26's file manager, Nautilus. And this one is Mate's file manager called Saja. It's a older fork of, uh, of Nautilus. But they both function similarly. Like, the menu bar, there is no menu bar on Nautilus. You have to click here. But on here, they're all right here. Well, on Saja, they're all right here. Now, Saja is on 1.18.4, and Nautilus is on 3.26. And, yeah, I think that's all I could really show right now. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure you leave a like or comment your feedback. And also, why not give a subscribe to, to this channel? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future.